What's up, folks? Seth here at Plastic Galaxy. Getting things started here in a few minutes. Got a great live Star Wars sale for tonight. Be sure to check us out right before Christmas. We'll be with you in just a few seconds. Folks, set there at Plastic Galaxy Toy Store, we do live sales. As if you don't know, now you do. Weekly, twice a week. Generally speaking, it's Wednesday and Sunday, but we're going to make some amendments to that uh, live sale uh, schedule coming up right now. So let's talk about that, actually. So this week, obviously, Wednesday is Christmas, and we're not having a live sale Wednesday, but we are having one Friday night. So we'll give you guys a chance to recover from your, your holiday or get back home, whatever. You know, uh, spend time with your family, all that good stuff on Christmas. And I hope you have a great Christmas, by, Christmas, by the way. And then we'll see you Friday night at 7 p.m. Central. Now, New Year's is also next Wednesday. So we're also going to emulate that and do a, a live sale next Friday as well. So uh, the next two sales, uh, as far as during the week, are going to be on Friday. And we'll continue to have our Sunday sale as well. So the next two weeks, the, the sale uh, schedule is as follows. Uh, today, obviously, and then Friday, Sunday... Then, then next week, Friday, Sunday, then we, we'll go to back to a normal schedule. It's just, you know, the holidays, you know, and, and I, I don't think anybody wants to <laughs> come in on a live sale on New Year's Eve. That would be kind of funny, but, I mean, uh, some people might get in trouble for that uh, <laughs> at late hours. Yeah, I'll do like at 12.01. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so that'll give you guys a chance to breathe and give us a chance to breathe and all that good stuff and spend time and all that good stuff where we don't have to worry about it. So, having said that, let's talk about the uh, – oh, uh, yeah, so next Friday – uh, be sure to uh, set your dials or whatever your set your that's so old. Uh, be sure to tune in next Sunday. Uh, that should be next uh, Friday, which is the third of January, and we're gonna have a special sale then because we also have a special announcement as well. So uh, be sure to tune in for that Sunday. Uh, that, that's a Friday sale on J January uh, the third, which will uh, show all kinds of, of cool stuff. And also, like I said, a huge announcement that you'll want to stay tuned and listen to for that. So there we go. And then, of course, we'll be off and running in the 2021 year. So we should ring it in with us and all that good stuff. So let's talk about the sale. Let's get thing, uh, Then we'll start doing the sale, and we'll get uh, get going. So as we're going to continue our December, and we're gonna, I guess we're going to continue this the entire way because why not? It's worked so well. So for the rest of this year, uh, which is for as far as our sales go, I believe, which will be Sunday, Everything is a ship price. So December is kind of like, what are we going to do for like a Christmas kind of thing? So everything that you see with the price marked on it, uh, as far as that's a ship price to your door. So kind of cool, right? Uh, so don't have to worry about anything. Just let us know what you had. And then obviously just add up that. You don't have to worry about shipping and say, hey, that's what I had. And that's all you pay. So it makes it a lot easier for us and you. We don't have to calculate shipping and all that stuff. You don't have to worry about it. So there you go. Having said that, uh, we do combine shipping as well. I mean, obviously, it's already it's going together, so you don't have to worry about it. But uh, let's talk about that. What else we have? Shipping, we went over that. Uh, here's how the sale works. So we put an item out there with a post-it note with a number in the bottom left-hand corner. Use this command, PG item number space price. So PG0 space 19 is a good example if there was an item out here that you would put that way, and that's how that works. Um, 
obviously there's no shipping tonight so don't worry about it just let us know after the sale you've, it's really important that you contact us after the sale because tracing you down is a pain in the butt but also uh that means it verifies what you have with us a lot of people say hey i got that and like no you actually didn't at least what we see so please understand we only can see what we see and it's just i, I hate going over this but it seems like i get questions about this all the time like hey such and such had this that and the other I, I realize that it may show that on your end, but I can't go off of that. Otherwise, everybody would win the same item. Or, or I say win is a bad, would claim the same item, whatever word you want to use there, would be awarded. I don't know. Um, so please understand we can't do anything about it. And also, if you happen to miss out, contact the store and say, hey, man, I missed that complete figure. I likely may have another one. <laughs> so and I'll honor the same price as long as the condition's the same and all that good stuff. And I, I really want to do what I can on, on that situation, but obviously it's a fluid live deal and I can't change it. And I can't, I don't want to go back and have to go back and see the, the video and all that stuff. So having said that, that is how that works. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have fun at the movie. If you're at the movie, turn, turn this off and stay home or uh, watch the movie. Don't watch me. Watch the movie. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. But uh, yes, so there you go. I saw the movie. We can talk about that some other time, but it was, it was fun. It was a good time. Always fun seeing Star Wars, right? Okay, so... Uh, Lots of vintage tonight, L vintage loose carded. We've got some really cool pit. I've got one thing I'm going to showcase here, probably midway through the sale. That is one thing we haven't ever had, which is kind of cool because I've had s all kinds of stuff. But this is a pretty rare bird. Uh, I hate using the word rare, but it's a pretty unique piece. And you don't you don't see these come up for sale pri uh, on the public circuit very often, like in the open market. It's usually between collectors and whatnot. So interesting item. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we have a lot uh, camera two and camera one over here. So we have some loose, loose complete. We have some loose graded. We have got uh, some black series. We've got some mint and seal box stuff. We've got... Uh, some carded figures. We've got a nice assortment of everything, about 25 to 26 items. Keep it short and sweet. Contact us after the sale. Let's get things rolling tonight on camera number one. Ship to your door. Ship, all these are ship prices, like I said. Let's go over there right now with a 100% complete C8 minimum TIE pilot with correct blaster. Of course, you don't start reproductions. PG25 space 24 for the TIE pilot. Like I said, all these are shipped prices to your door. So if you want this, or everything we have tonight doesn't matter. It's not going to cost you any more. So PG-25 space 24 for the TIE Pilot. By the way. Boom. PG-25 for, uh, for 24. That is a TIE Pilot. A nice one. Like I said, all these figures are very nice. Uh, C8, uh, C8, minimum, C8 minimum on these. 24 bucks with it. Thank you, Michael Pajuitlo. And just so you know, people like... <laughs> I, a lot of them, and I understand it's it's not all everybody, but they're like, they're there. what does the C mean? Well, the C was the OA, old way collectors graded things. Tim being an absolute, you know, not be able to find any perfection, which in my opinion doesn't exist. But my point is, because you can always point something out like a color variation, but, you know, eight is a very solid condition figure, not anything major wrong with it. You know, obviously the weapons there, it has nothing to do with the uh, the the, uh, the grading scale. But my point is that from a scale of 1 to 10, the C used to be old, the old collector grade, if you will. So, and I, ha I hate using 80 and 90 and 95 and all that stuff because those are what grading companies use. And I understand that, but obviously I'm not a grading company. But I really try to err on the side of the low end of that. So, it would hopefully it would grade higher just because I want you guys to, you know, have a little value there too. Okay. Let's get things started on my end. we got a cool piece. Let's talk about, uh, we've got some nice carded figures, but let's talk about. Yeah, let's do a Carter figure. We got some, you know what, let's do a Black Series figure. This one uh, is a pretty cool one, and I forgot I had this one. And this is actually, I remember when this one was really sought after, and it is still sought after because it's discontinued, obviously. This is a, a ship price as well. This is uh, uh, PG-22. PG-22, this is, of course, re uh, Finn, rather, uh, FN-217. I call it the bloody Finn because you see the mask there from Force Awakens. That was a hot item, and it still is because it's discontinued, and they're still selling pretty well. And, uh, you know, a little bit of retail, not too bad. This will be a ship price to your door. PG-22 for 29 bucks. It's easily over a $30 figure. But actually, this is factored in shipping, so don't worry about it. you got everything you good to go there. PG-22 for 29 bucks. Factory seal Finn, number 17, FN-2187. Uh, of course, a uh, pretty cool piece. And there it is for Black Series number 22 for $29. You have Finn in, uh, you know, I call him the bloody Finn because, you, like I said, you can see the blood on the mask there from Force Awakens. A cool piece. Don Barber. Thank you, Don. Let me, uh, I'll, mark, I'll denote that on my thing. Don is a, another great customer, just like MPW. We have got some of the best customers, you know, that I know of. And they're awesome because they're, they're cool cats, too. They're not just, you know, customers. They're cool cool guys so thank you guys um let's go back over to camera number two where we've got this one 
Here's a nice piece, and this is a steal on this one. This is PG number one. This is the, uh, it's a Bosque Loose AFA 85 grade. This is the olive paint with, uh, excuse me, olive, uh, I forgot the, the transition there, the, uh, the olive head with flat paint. This is easily probably $145 to $50 piece. If you want this, it's a ship price to your door. This is the 85 grade Bosque, PG1, space 119. It's one of the har harder variations to find with Bosque. So there you have it. And I think the last couple have been selling for $150 and up. So there you go. PG1, space 119, ship price to your door. Of course, AFA graded 85 Bosque. Justin Davis. And Justin, you know what? I'm sorry I did not reply to your comment earlier. I've been extremely busy, but I still have your package from uh, the last sale, and I will just throw this in there so that way you have to pay any more shipping because I know you're out, you're, out, you're out of the country, obviously, so that'll help you out on that. So that's a good thing that I didn't because I wasn't sure if I was going to have a sale, so there you go. Boom. Not to worry about any extra shipping. Okay. And I'll get back to you on the uh, the uh, the case on that deal. They'll take care of it for you. But my point is, uh, I'll, sh I'll tell you how to do that. Um, Moving along, let's go to some more. Let's do another black series. And uh, this is our last one in store, or in stock, I should say. This is PG number 17. This is uh, number 92. This is the Sith Trooper. Uh, if you've seen uh, uh, Rise, of the, Rise, of, Rise of the Skywalker, <laughs> Rise of Skywalker. Rise of the Skywalker, right? Revenge of the Sith. Uh, this is PG-17 for 24. It's our last one. Cool piece. What's funny about this, I don't want to give away when the, where this was at in the movie, but um, uh, you, you know it if, you remember, if you've seen if you've seen it the last couple of days. But he was in there, which is kind of cool. Because sometimes I put out figures and they want him to be in the movie. This one was obviously in there. PG-17 for $24. This is the Sith Trooper from uh, the new movie which is super cool. It's our last one we've had, uh, we have in store. So there you go. PG-17 for 24 bucks. That's a ship price to your door. All the prices are shipped to your door. So you can figure, uh, obviously, that um, it's basically just like Walmart, right? That's what Walmart would charge push your shipping. And Walmart's pretty hard to beat. So PG-17 for 24 bucks. We'll take the uh, Sith Trooper. Nice, cool piece right there. If you're joining us on YouTube, please understand we can't see your comments. We see a lot of those guys trying to comment over there. Come over to us at Facebook.com slash Plastic Galaxy Shop, and we're just taking care of. Um, but you can watch us on YouTube if you like. It's in high resolution. So there you go. PG, because uh, Facebook only has 720p. There it is. PG 17, 24 bucks. Let's put that one down here. Let's go back over to camera two. We have a complete Lando Calrissian in Skiff Guard uniform. We have his helmet. We've got his staff. Once again, C8 minimum figure. And the helmet's always the thing getting lost on him. PG 26 for 24 dollars takes the Lando, uh, I was going to say Lando General, but <laughs> excuse me, it's Lando uh, Skiff Guard. Lando in Skiff Disguise. I think that's what it's. What it's yes. Joe Boyd has the Sith Trooper. You got it, Joe. Got that one. Thank you. What's that? Okay. PG-26 for $24 is Lando Skiff Guard. I was going to tell this uh, earlier. Okay. We all know that Christmas is Wednesday. If you have to have something overnighted, like it just has to happen for a gift or whatever, let me know after the sale because I can't overnight it and get it to you by Tuesday. Because I'll have to, I will do it early in the morning for you, and I will not charge anything extra for you. I will just charge what the post office charges us, which we have a discounted rate, so it will be a little bit cheaper than nor than you doing it probably. My point is, if you would like it, sorry, go ahead. MPW is taking down the uh, the Lando Skiff. Okay, so like I said, if you want something shipped overnight for a gift for a gift or what have you, I can facilitate it. It won't charge you anything extra as far as I'm not going to charge a premium for my end. I'm just going to charge you whatever the post office charges us, and I'll take it down early in the morning. Uh, that way, it gets shipped off to you. Um, there you go. Boom. Just thought, always throw that out there and back over to me. All right. There we go. Boom. Let's get some carded vintage figures. All righty. Let's, let's start off with this one. This is a nice one, too. We've got some nice carded figures for us. This is uh, PG number 12. One, two. This is a 65 back offerless ERG Emperor Royal Guard. Look at that flat card. It's nice. It's clean. Uh, no major concerns on it. I mean, it's just got, which you, look at that, nice flat. The bubble is a little rounded here, but I've seen a lot of them from the factory that way, like pull out of cases. So I don't think that's an actual defect. I think it just is what it is. It doesn't take anything away from the card. No cracks or anything like that. This is a clean card, man. 
Uh, PG, uh, this will be PG number 12. This will be a ship price. All of our vintage cartridge figures will ship in a star case. Let me just go over some condition one more time. I don't see any veining. I'm looking at, if you ever want to like really get, get on these cartridge figures, look on the, look at going down like a, like a runway. You can really see if there's any imperfections that we're looking like this. You really can't, but I'm going to be honest and do my best with you for you. I don't see any right there. I don't see any on the back at all. It's unpunched, no price tags. It's basically case fresh. It's beautiful. PG number 12 is $199 shipped for the uh, Emperor Royal Guard. These will ship in star cases. All of our carded figures ship uh, in star cases or acrylic, depending upon what we have. Uh, but regardless, they will not just ship in a box, etc. So there you go. PG 12 for $199 shipped. Beautiful card, and I love the, uh, the artwork on him as well. That's just a, one of my favorite characters in, in Return of the Jedi. Unpunched, no price tags. Beautiful card, flat card. I mean, there's really nothing to complain about. It. That's that's. I'm always looking for maybe a little edge wear. This is a solid, you know, uh, 80 grade card all day long, and probably up from that. Uh, there you go. PG12 for 199. Ship for the ERG. 65 back. Offerless Emperor Royal Guard. Nice clean card. Can't go wrong with that one. There you go. Let's put that one back in its star case before I uh, haphazardly you know do something with that if you want better like i said if you if you're interested in these items and after the sale contact us let me know and i can take you some really good photos of this i may already have them on my camera that way you can really see what i'm talking about so you can understand exactly what you're getting and i want you guys to to uh, to understand that as well all right back to camera oh here we go so this is back by popular request we have four of these pg7 is a mystery box for $19 each. That's shipped to your door. So we're including the shipping on this too on this time. So whoever wants the first four, first four PG7s is going to take a mystery box home. I didn't write the price in there. But so PG7 space 19. My mistake. There we go. PG7 for 19. That's my, my mess up. But that will get you a mystery box. That's six vintage Star Wars items. Could be weapons. Could be whatever you want. Usually it's just a hodgepodge of different things. They're not a bunch of junk. Yes. Uh, I believe, Dave, who want to know that? Oh, uh, Justin. It's got the bandolier strap and it's got the Y-wing on the bottom and then the two Ewoks are blotted out. I can see any better photos of that, Justin. I'm sorry. Oh, crap. That's okay. We're going to go, we're going to take our... So Peter, Paul Dorman, Peter Holler. Paul Dorman, Peter Holler. Lewis and April Brown. And Scott DeVere. And Scott DeVere. Hey, Scott. What's up, man? Good to hear you. So those are four of our... our, our uh, getters or if you will acclaimers on that one don't worry we'll do some more of those we took a hiatus from that not because we don't have stuff to do it with it's just that the influx of carded figures and everything and i don't want to be here all night i know you guys don't want to either so hey just i think that's a 65a justin on that erg but i don't know i'm, I'm not the debut king so there you go all right let's go over here look at this nice one up next we have got pg 15 and and this is actually a really tough one to get um on uh returning the jedi clear and it's, it was grady clear and it's still clear this is a 77 back a this is the death star droid and the grades are 75 80 and 90 the figure is really high got a 90 grade on this and usually these are around 300 bucks man they really are but this will be a ship price to your door pg 15 the grades one more time are 75 80 and 90 overall the 75 you can see in there if you like maybe but i'm just telling you Back's in good shape. A little vein right there. Probably got the 75. Is probably its major culprit, which is right by the punch. But the card and figure, I mean, the, the, the bubble and the figure itself are beautiful. Uh, really nice figure. PG-15 for $249 shipped. If you want to get a, get in a, on a really nice desk, uh, desk, uh, Death Star droid, that's how you do it right there. Unless you want to pay, you know, five dollars $600 and up for a 20 back. And then 21 and on beyond. And, you know, kind of go down the ladder right there. PG-15 for $249. Ship price. Beautiful card. The figure got a 90 um uh, it's just unbelievably and it's just shiny i mean that's one of my favorite car backs actually because i really this is a secondary character a third tier third tier character actually but he just gleams man he's one of those just kind of he kind of reminds me of 3po in a way anyway pg uh, 15 249 ship 77 back this is an a card uh 75 grade overall graded clear still clear like i said only major issue be right by the tag bear uh or by the uh, punch hole, rather. And that's it. A little, little, little crease. It happens, right? 
There it is. Let's move along, shall we? Back to camera two we go. We have got PG2. This is an AFA 80 grade. The new AFA style casing for this one. AFA 80. This is a, a Zuckus. And I love the way AFA and CAS, all the, uh, you know, they're the two main players right now that are actually changing their casing design, which is awesome. PG2 for $79 for the Zuckus. It's actually four lom, excuse me. <laughs> I apologize. That's four lom. Four lom Zuckus, take your pick. As we all know, that's... Um, pretty much uh, up to debate, depending on who you ask. <laughs> Has the four long. Thank you. PG2 for 79. Michael Pidge, Michael Pidge Whitlow. Okay, back over here. Let's do another piece. Uh, let's do... Uh, uh, Alright, let's do another Let's do another Black Series piece. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Haven't seen this one around in a long time. This is PG number 18. This is the Toys R Us exclusive. I remember when this came out and people were just crazy about this. Uh, this came in a huge lot of black series we got. I've had it for quite a while. I just don't have time to, haven't had time to go through them. Uh, PG 18 for 24 is the first order Snow Trooper from Toys R Us exclusive. Or excuse me, from Toys R Us exclusive still, still right there. And of course, Toys R Us is, I guess, coming back, but they only have like two stores open or something like that. And malls, they're going to be really scaled down and who knows what they're going to do. My point is, um, I don't know of any around me. So <laughs> there you go. PG-18 for 24. Cool piece. Let's put that up there for us. That is, everything's a ship price tonight, like I said. Ship to your door, which you got to love, right? Kind of cool. PG-18 for 24 bucks. That is the Snow Trooper. The first order Snow Trooper. TRU sticker on there, Toys R Us exclusive, which he kind of looks like a, uh, like, like a, like almost like a dog face, doesn't he? Uh, Brandon Harp has PG-18. PG-18, Brandon Harp, you got it, my man. Let me uh, write that down on there. BH. Uh, I don't know, I'm just cross doing it. Both ways, so I know. Back over to camera two, we have a nice, this one is just missing the blaster. Uh, all these figures tonight are loose complete, except for this one. I just don't have the blaster for it. But it does have the belt, which is cool. Belt, Luke Poncho. Three, uh, PG3 for $59, like I said. Those are tough. It can, only came with Lando General and uh, this figure, the Black Palace blaster. So I don't have it, or, you know, obviously I've built with it, but I don't have it. Clean figure, has the, uh, the, the, the cape, if you will, or the smock, whatever you're going to call it. Poncho, I guess, is the, <laughs> the actual tri uh, correct term. Uh, PG-359, Luke Poncho. It has the belt, no blaster. You know, obviously, uh, the Don Barber. Don Barber. Cool piece there, Don. Thank you, Don. Last 17 character as well. well what's wrong? What's up? Okay, we're good to go. Let's go. Let's move on to something different. Uh, let's do this one. Oh, man. We have a tw another 12 back. We had this one the other day and had a lot of interest in it. But it was kind of like um, just a small, a smaller assortment of people. So uh, I'll throw this up again. And uh, this is a steal. And people were like, man, that's a great price. It is. So I'm going to keep it at the same price just because uh, this is page number 40. I forgot to write this down on the, on the paper. Page number 40. This is a 12 back AAC 3PO. The grades are 50, 80, and 85. So this is a beautiful card minus the pop. Right there. Right? That's the only major concern on that. Uh, other than that, like I said, the, the card got a 50. The bubble got an 80 and 85. Uh, wasn't graded by me, but it's still in the poly bag. So whoever had it last took care of it or just graded it. It's archivally graded, mind you. That's like an extra upgrade. So this is archival... Uh, uh, they call it glass, but it's not really glass, plastic, so it's a UV, UV uh, resistant and all that good stuff. Beautiful figure, and the main thing about this is a 12 back A, so it's an early version of C-3PO. So there you go. Ship price, PG-4. If you want a 12 back, a graded 12 back, and not have to spend a crap ton of money, this is it. PG-40 for three sixty nine. That's a ship price to your door, and uh, I think somebody will snag it because you just can't get into a, a nice 12 back for you know under $500. I mean, unless you're extremely lucky or, um, you know, it's just really trashed out, right? PG-40 for three sixty nine dollars ship. 12-pack A, C-3PO, beautiful card minus the pop. That's the only thing. Like I said, it's basically half what you'd pay for like an 80-grade card. And that's the way I look at it for a 50-grade. So there you go. PG-40 for three sixty nine, dollars Awesome piece. Still in the poly bag. So it's a budget way of getting a 12-pack. Not a bad deal there. Okay. Let's move along. Uh, you need to, are you switched out yet? I'm sorry. Do we not have anything? Okay. Uh, don't worry. Give me one second. I'll just talk about so another Black Series piece. How about we do this? Here's another one that is... Oh, here we go. PG-19. Well, we're getting set up over there. No big deal. This is PG number 19. This is uh, actually a pretty cool one from Force Awakens. This is Chewbacca. Ship price to your door. PG-19 for 19 bucks. 
Manufacturing and shipping is actually cheaper than uh, retail, which is cool because PG05 is just the fifth uh, fifth one to come out on the new Black Series cards back in uh, Black Series boxes, I should say, back in the Force Awakens days. PG19 for $19 will get you taken care of with Mr. Chewy Baca himself. Factory seal, of course, brand new. Bowcaster and all in there. Cool piece. I had the first shot of that figure, actually, which is kind of cool. I don't have any more, but I did. I had the prototype for that. PG19 for $19. We'll take you number zero five, Mr. Chewbacca, which is kind of cool, right? This is from the Force. So it has a different uh, uh, scheme because he was in was the Force, Force Awakens version. They did make a blue, uh, the blue one and the uh, 40th anniversary, which was the, uh, you know, the OG or, or uh, original trilogy. But cool piece right there if you want a Chewbacca, first 12 character, PG-19 for 19 bucks. What's that? Joe Boy. Joe Boy. Thank you, Joe. Write that down. So we're going to get things shipped off tomorrow. If you have a shipping, ex uh, if you'd like to sh or shipping expedited, please let me know, and I can do that for you. Just to, I'll tell you what the post office is charging us, and boom, we can do it. Okay, let's go on to some another carded piece. Now look at this one. Let's do, aha, this is a really nice one. This one's actually going to ship in acrylic, because this is how it came to me, and I try to do that uh, best, like, to the best of my ability. Okay, this is PG number 13. So you're getting some acrylic here, which is even a little bit better bonus. And if you want a Ben Kenobi on card, on an earlier card, this is the way to go, unless you want a 12 back, and I totally get it. Uh, this is PG number 13, Empire Strikes Back. This is a 41 back, Ben Kenobi. Really cool piece, man. Uh, talk about condition. I would give this in that, you know, C8-ish range. The bubble's clear, figure's nice, of course. No major issues, no cracks, the stem's good. A little light veining on the side right there, if you can see it, uh, right in this vicinity. Well, you probably can't see it, I'm just pointing it out to you. That's the only thing I would could talk about this, uh, as far as condition on this. Pop is still present, obviously. So here it is. If you want a good uh, Ben Kenobi on card, a 41 back, PG-13, 329 ship for a Ben Kenobi on card. I mean, that's pretty... Pretty reasonable, I think, <laughs> considering the condition. Also, when you want a 20 backer and spend about 500 plus, and 21 backs are in that range too. Then 12 backs, obviously, around double that for that condition. You know, into that 800 to 1,000 dollar range. PG 13 for 329. Ben Kenobi Empire Strikes Back 41 back. I said, like I said, CA in that range. I would call this one. Not afraid to do that. PG 13. Ben Kenobi. Gray hair. Ben Kenobi. Of course, that's when he kind of transitioned on the on the uh, 12s and kind of went straight to the gray hair version. PG-13 for $3.29 shipped. All the prices, like I said, are shipped to your door. This will come with, like I said, some acrylic. So some extra acrylic for one, which is actually like 15, 20 bucks for one of these. And also, uh, you know, ship price. So there you go. PG-13 for $3.29. Boom. Let's put them back in the, back in the, uh, back in the acrylic. Give me one second. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget our next live sale is Friday. It will not be Wednesday because Wednesday is obviously Christmas. I uh, went Boom. So here we go. Up next, what do we have next? Uh, we're on camera two. We have a complete, uh, really nice, basically card fresh sand trooper. Or, uh, sand, why do I always say sand trooper? It's sand people. <laughs> sand people. Sand people, sand troop, trooper, tomato, tomato. I get it. It's different. Uh, PG6 for 24, complete with a gaffy stick. It looks basically card fresh. It's like that, that. When that cape is really nice and bent like that, it likely hasn't been played with. C8 minimum, I always say that. It's probably better than that, but I want to kind of shoot the low end of this. With a gabby stick, PG4 for 24, PG6 for 24, takes a Tuscan Raider slash Sand People person, call it what you will. So Peter Holler has PG13. Peter Holler wants the Bing Kenobi. That's a nice pickup. I'm surprised it didn't go faster, but yes, Peter Holler. Nice card right there. Brandon Harp has the Tuscan for for twenty four, and we're all caught up. Um, we, should be. we should be okay. Okay, let's move over here. Let's talk about um. Oh, some more black series. I got a few more black series to run through. Actually, let's get to these right now. Um, this is a was a tough one to get to. It's still about a thirty dollar piece. What? PG twenty for twenty four Atsy pilot. Tough one to get. I think he was in the new movie. I'm not spoiling anything because it's not like it's a major thing, but I think he was in there, or at least one of his brand was. PG-21 is 19, another Black Series piece, for just a first order Stormtrooper, which is can't, can't have enough uh, troopers to build. Ship price on these both, like I said. PG-20 uh, for uh, the uh, Atsy pilot. PG-20 and 21, respectively, right there. Grab one of those. You need it. They're both factory sealed in good shape, I said. Um, 
Really cool, man. Can't go wrong with some troopers. And of course, Assy Pilot's a tough one to get. I remember him being really tough. Everybody wanted this one too for a while. It was like a like people going crazy over him. Anyway, PG twenty for twenty four for the Assy Pilot, and then PG twenty one for uh, nineteen for the first order stormtrooper. And like I said. When you're troop building, you can't have enough. I just pulled out some black series because I figured some people would like them. If not, no biggie. We can continue on. Let's do this. All right. We're already on camera. Uh, is that all? Are we? No, you're fine. No, I'm uh, fine. Well, don't forget to join us. Like I said, Friday, we got a few more items to display for you tonight. And we'll be rocking and rolling and, uh, for Friday night. And then, of course, next sun this coming Sunday, a week from today, another live sale. Then next Friday as well. Then we'll go back to our regular schedule, schedule program due to the holidays. Um, yes, we will. Okay. Okay. Boom. That's okay. Uh, there we go. I think we're ready on camera two. Give me one second. Over on, on camera two, we have a complete Raincore Keeper there to show your hood and your, uh, I guess it's called gaffy stick slash poker thingy uh pg24 for 19 spike whatever you want to call it complete uh mr uh kind of friar tuck looking right but no that would be the uh, gamorian guard but regardless he's an underrated character actually he's not underrated <laughs> he's just kind of is what he is pg24 for 19 Brandon H. But hey, you know, complete one, you got to have one to, to run out your collection or your kids. Sorry about that. All right. I meant to take a time to talk about this for like, I want to take a little time to talk about this next piece, and then we're going to go on to a couple more items, and I'm turning loose because I'm just wanting to get done. That way you guys can get done. Okay. This is a cool piece that we just got in, and it's one of those that uh, just contact us, and we can um, see what we can kind of work out between the two of us because it's, it's, it's not a cheap one. Uh, so when we talk about, uh, you know, pre-production stuff and prototypes and all that good stuff, um, vintage stuff, you know, those are kind of interesting because they don't come up a whole, whole lot, like outside of the collector, mark, collector community. They do on occasion in auctions, but you rare, you know, it's kind of hard to see them come up unless they're like in, you know, venues like this, maybe, or, you know, other things like that. But this is a first shot figure. And for those that don't know a first shot, maybe it's like they're, their first attempt at like making the figure of what it would be, kind of. So this is a Walrus Man first shot, which is super cool on this one because, like I said, uh, it's a pre-production prototype, rather, for this figure. So I don't. There's there's a couple ways to distinguish how it is, but I don't have to go through that obviously because it's been graded and authenticated. My point is, if you would like something like this, they are not by any stretch of imagination cheap <laughs> so uh let me know contact contact me and i'll show you some photos of this whatever we can go from there we do you know we do trades all the time for cool things so if you've got some other things that doubles the things that you're looking to turn loose of, but uh, obviously these things if you know about these things uh you would know uh kind of what they would command or in that range at least a tough one to get a hold of but i'm always you know one of these things i like we just keep unless somebody wants to make a cool trade with me or wants to obviously wants to buy it that's fine but first shot walrus man Really cool piece. Don't see this come up. I like to show this off because it's something part of Kinder history. And uh, I think there's only 10 of these other graded, maybe nine, you know, in different variations they have, you know, different torsos, different colors and all that stuff. These are hand painted eyes. I can tell by the way they look. They're not the production eyes are kind of blotted. These are kind of miss uh, one's bigger than the other and whatnot. So there you go. And uh, obviously this is authenticated uh, by F AFA and CIB. So cool piece, archival graded, all that good stuff. So uh, this may be actually hand glued to or arm glued to. I'd have to uh, ask uh, Tom about that, but I don't know. Anyway, cool piece. Just thought I'd show it off. Okay. Uh, back to camera two we go with a complete Tebow. This is number PG number uh Five for 19, a complete Tebow, another cool piece. Satchel, his, I call it his staff, his war club, whatever, and his headgear. There he is, PG5 for $19. Like I said, if you're interested in the Walrus Man first shot, let me know, and I can see what you have to, you know, want to do with that. But obviously, those things are not, you know, your everyday kind of like going to pick those up for just a couple bucks kind of deal. So PG5 for $19 for Tebow. Cool piece for us. Michael Page Whitlow. Taking the Tebow. Let me go back over to me real fast. If I, I probably cut that wrong, didn't I? No, there we go. I just got to put the, the uh, whatever. There we go. I lost my ticker, but who cares? Uh, boom. All right, so over here. Oh, I forgot about this. So here's another cool piece. 
We have got we got a couple more things to go through tonight. This is PG number 14. This will come with the acrylic case as well. Another tough one to get. I don't think I've ever showcased this one. I don't know, I know if I've ever put this one out before. I don't think I have. Uh, this is a Death, Squad, uh, Death Star droid as well on Empire Strikes Back card. This is a 41 back. It is beautiful. It's like in the same condition as the Return of the Jedi. Actually, a little better. And it's on an Empire Strikes Back card. But this is PG number 14 for 269 Actually, they're tougher to get a hold of on Empire cards than they are Jedi cards, which is kind of weird, but even there's, the droids are just hard to get on, uh, especially outside of R2 and 3PO, are just hard to get on Empire cards and, and Jedi cards relatively. So there you go, a nice piece right there. And this one is kind of interesting because there's no footer. So if Kenner forgot to put the old uh, footer in there, a little, uh, if you will, unlike I'll show you on the, Star, on the Return of the Jedi version, you can see that. Which Brian does have? Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's regardless, that's a cool one. I was going to show the differences here of those. Like this one is missing the footer, and that one is not. You can see it right there. Footer, no footer. Just just, just forgot to do it. Not like an error. But thank you, Ryan Joseph. That's a cool piece. And those are usually, if he knows, I'm, I don't know if he knows, but they're usually more expensive than that <laughs> uh, for those kind of cards, for Empire, for Empire cards. Ryan Joseph. You got that? This will come with acrylic, by the way, Ryan. Like I said, I'll hook you up with the acrylic case as well. Thank you, Ryan. Good pickup. Okay. Let's go over here. And like I said, this one also is two, 249 for AFA 75 grade for this one, just to, just to reemphasize. Um, okay. All right. Let's go to our last piece of the night. And we're going to just round this out with a bang. This is going to be, I forgot to write this down. We're going to write it down right now. Let's call this PG60. 60. Six zero, and this is one that I've had not for very long, but I've showed it like one time, and I for keep forgetting to show it because it's just something really cool. All right, probably because people keep hitting me up with other stuff. <laughs> I don't have time to look to show everything we have. Uh, here we go. This is a factory sealed, a st uh, excuse me, Star Destroyer. These you don't see come up very often, uh, sealed especially. I mean, they do come up for sale opened. This is a factory sealed, mint and seal box. Like I said, let me back it up a little bit so you can see it. Boom. Let's go over condition issues. Not much. A little wear up here. A little uh, shelf wear right there. Uh, the tape is secure on all corners of the box. It has not been double taped. And I talk about double taping as, I talked about it last time. It's not a bad deal. It's just that the grading companies will not grade. Well, I know FA won't will not grade double tape stuff because obviously it could be that somebody went and retaped it. But we also know that from the factory they did double tape. This one is not. I'm just that's just a reassurance for you that um they don't have to worry about. This is a nice piece overall. This is a C8 condition on this one as well. I actually love these boxes for multiple reasons. It's corrugated cardboard, does not bend as much as the other cardboard does. I would say that because it's just I like it better. You get the line art in the back, which is super cool. Um these are not cheap. They just don't. They aren't cheap. Factory seal. This is going to PG number 60. Let's go out with a bang that I have. Somebody wants it. It's going to be expensive, but I, I understand. But I think I think I can. <sighs> Here we go. Can you actually unite? This would be a ship price. I really think this is like a, you know, $1,400 to $1,500 piece. This will be shipping will be on us as well. PG number 60 for $12.99. Factory sealed uh, Star Destroyer. Darth Vader Star Destroyer, mind you. And one thing about these is uh, about these are they only came out Empire Strikes Back. They did not remake them for Return of the Jedi, anything like that. So, kind of a limited run, if you will, during that line. I guess they didn't sell well, what have you. But still cool. You get the Boba Fett uh, photo right there with Bosk, all the bounty hunters, which is super cool. Pop is still there, as you see right right above my thumb. Cool piece, man. Like I said, somebody wants it. I don't think you can go find one for cheaper than that. I don't think you can go find one, period, unless you knew somebody that had one. They're just tough to get. Go go search for them on eBay or whatever. You just don't see them come up. But there it is. Factory sealed all the way around. Boom. Anyway, just trying to show you some condition right there. If you want better photos, I can do my best on that for you as well. Get some photos taken care of. PG-60 for $12.99. Anything else? Oh, we got more piece over there. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, is that the last one? Okay, here we go. We got some more. I forgot. PG-4 for 29 is IG-88 with both rifles. That's a ship price to your door as well, like I said. And uh, PG-4 for 29 bucks. That is the orange eyes, vari orange, orange eyes variation. I think they make a red one as well. PG-4 for $29. Complete. 100%. 
with his long rifle and his regular rifle. He's kind of a cool cat, man. He got two weapons. And uh, hey, it is what it is. PG-429, ship price to your door for a complete IG-88. If there's anything you've seen tonight that did not sell, you want better photos of, please let me know, and I can hook you up and take better photos for you. Uh, or get them to you fast, but please uh, let me know after the sale. That being, yes. John V. John V. Thank you, John V. Um, let us know on the photos, and I'll get you taken care of after the sale. Got a couple more items over there. Don't forget to join us on Friday. He said, how many? We have one more over there? Yeah. Okay. We have one more item over here, then I'll cut you guys loose, which would be great, because that way you guys can uh, do whatever you got to do. Go see the movie again three times or whatever. Uh, which, I may go see that movie again if I get a chance. I may go, yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, up next, PG-27. Last one of the night, clean. This is a nice one as well. This one is actually except, exceptionally nice. Gamorrean Guard, PG-27, complete with axe, 24 bucks. Interesting thing about him is he's the only way you can get that axe. So uh, only weapon that only came with him, obviously, and obviously uh, no other figures had that weapon. PG-27 20, for 24 bucks. Rounding things out with the Gamorrean Guard. If you have any other questions about us or comments or concerns, let us know after the sale, and we'll get you taken care of. We're going to ship out fast tomorrow. If you'd like some expedited shipping, let us know. We won't charge you for it as far as what it comes to us. Justin and Davis 27. 27. Justin Davis. Justin Davis. Like I said, you're getting everything to you, my man. Okay. That's it for us tonight. Thank you. We just did that in record time, I think. But I wanted to get done. That way you can have time with your families and all that stuff and travel. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Let us know what you had. We'll see you on Friday night. Not Wednesday. Friday night. And then, of course, Sunday. And then back on uh, Wednesday as well. Uh, Sunday, then uh, next Friday as well. Uh, you guys have a great one. Merry Christmas. And we'll, uh, we'll post on, on Facebook and whatnot. Hope you guys are having a good one. And uh, like I said, let us know what you have and what you're taking care of. Adios.